Home is a place to laugh, learn, and play. And a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan at causeforalarm.org. Hello, Critter Protectors. Mr. Jim here and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! Anna swam weaving through bits of algae, grasses, and other critters. She loved her river home in South America, and she loved being a silver arowana. Silver arowana fish have long silver bodies. Their ginormous wide mouths open upward, kind of like a castle drawbridge. They move through the water like snakes and eat both plants and other smaller critters. They can grow almost four feet long. Holy smokes. And... They have some pretty amazing critter talents. As Anna swam through the water, she realized that much of the morning had gotten away from her. Phew! Huh, I guess I've made some distance. I guess I should be thinking about lunch. My tummy is rumbling. Anna slowed down a little bit and looked up above the water. She saw the sun shining down through the tree branches. She swam along the surface looking for the perfect opportunity. Then, jump! She leaped out of the water towards a low branch and snatched a bug in her wide open mouth. Splash! She landed safely back down to the water. Go! Mm, That hit the spot, she said to herself. One absolutely amazing trick of the silver arowana is their ability to leap out of the water. They can leap up to five feet just to grab a tasty bit of food. One of their nicknames is the water monkey, (laughs) and they definitely live up to it. As Anna swam her way back home, she jumped here and there to catch some more tasty food. She loved seeing outside of the river water, and she especially loved jumping on sunny days like today. Have you ever heard of a fish that eats its food out of the water? Wow, that's a pretty amazing critter that can jump out of the water like that. When Anna got back to her home nook of the river, she met some of her siblings. Hi, Jake. How was your day? She asked her brother. Oh, pretty good, I guess. I I stayed around here. I've been daydreaming about the up-and-coming flood season. I can't wait, Jake said. Flood season? Oh, you know, when we officially become adults and we go off to make our own families, Jake said in a kind of know-it-all kind of way. Oh, yeah, wow, yeah, I guess I forgot about that, Anna said. Anna loved growing up with her brothers and sisters. She hadn't thought much about leaving them, but she knew as an adult it was her job to lay eggs and live off on her own. It's coming up fast. You better start getting your mind wrapped around it, Anna, Jake said and swam off. As Anna sat and looked up again at the trees high above her in the river, she she tried to daydream as well. Only her thoughts seemed to turn more to worry than excitement. Who would she meet? Where would she lay her eggs or spend her days when she wasn't with her family all alone? And <gasps> oh dear. Thinking about becoming a grown-up one day can uh, have a lot of feelings with it. A little scary, a little excitement, but 
Anna was definitely feeling scared. She fell asleep that night and dreamed of her first day out on her own. It was a stormy dream. Boom, flash, crash. Drip, drop, drip, drop. Ah! cried Anna. It was the flood season in her dream, and not only was the river racing fast, Anna was all alone. She was frantically searching for some of her family, and the water was becoming dark and cloudy as the rain fell. Jake! Sarah! Anyone? Anna called for her family, and nobody answered. She felt so scared and lonely. She looked up and thought, Maybe I should... I'll make a jump and see what it's like up there. Just as she went to jump out of the water, a huge gust of wind took her up by surprise. Whoa! She flew right towards the clouds, and then all of a sudden... <gasps> she woke up. Whoa, that was a terrible dream. Anna tried to calm herself down, but she knew that dream was definitely a sign of all her worry. She was scared to leave, and she didn't really want to. I just wish I had a better idea what it was going to be like when I grow up. Uh, maybe then I wouldn't be so terrified, she thought to herself. Anna tried to remember what she'd learned about growing up and going off on her own. She remembered the flood season and how it was the start of her journey, but she felt like there was just so much to it. There's got to be so many things that she has to get ready before she becomes a grown-up. Oh dear, will Anna gain some bravery to head out all on her own? Will she remember everything she needs to, to about taking care of her eggs and raising her own family? I'm not sure, friends. I really hope that our friend Anna, the Silver Arowana, is able to figure this out. We're going to have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. We'll be right back after a brief word from our sponsor. Wow, friends, I've never become a grown-up Silver Arowana before, but I definitely have felt afraid of something that hasn't happened yet. Have you ever felt worried about maybe going to a new school or trying to make new friends or trying to do something new? Yeah, that is exactly what Anna is feeling right now. It's a lot of big emotions, and I really hope she's able to figure it all out before the big flood. I will see you on our next adventure. Bye! Bye! 